Oh, yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Buck's Cajun Kitchen. Hot day. Hey, look here. Got something going on today. It's going to be real good, too, Chef. Uh, not only am I making a, a, a gumbo, which you know, that's not going to have nothing to do with the video. I mean, uh, right now, I got my fresh shrimp. They're soaking right now in Rotel juice. Just empty my juice from my can and onto my, my fresh shrimp. Let them sit. I'm gonna let them sit about six hours to get that juice in there before I put that in my gumbo. Anyway, that's the second thing there. You know, that, that's something else. You know, uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to introduce one of my friends here that sent me this old drive shaft, Drew. Uh, Y'all get out there on, on YouTube and check him out, and also on Facebook, drive shaft Drew. He is awesome. Let me tell you what. He's been one of my followers for a long time, and uh, he's terrific. Check him out. Thank you, guy. He sent me this little sticker, and guess what? It's going on my computer, so I don't forget him. He's real cool. Right now, I need a good old Schlitz. Eh, eh? Got a little Bork Cajun Secret Seasoning from my friend Lanny and uh, Brittany Bork. Hey, look. We got some good products. I was gonna boil some shrimp today with that shrimp ball, seafood ball, but I decided, I said, well, I'm, I'm in the mood for gumbo, you know, which I'm gonna do the shrimp and chicken gumbo and sausage and all kind of little things I throw in my pot, you know? Let me show y'all one day. Ah, a little okra, I'm gonna throw a little okra in there. Today's video, it's all about Boxiki silicone baking pans, non-stick. And let me tell you what, this one here, this is awesome. It's got a steel rim. And look, let me take this off so you can see what I'm talking about. Look here. See how nice that is? That just folds all over. And guess what? I just baked a cake in one of these a while ago. Put it in the oven, no, don't need no oil or nothing, just put, well you'll see. So today I'm making an upside down cake. I'm making a chocolate upside down cake, but there's a little bit more to it than that. So check out the video, Shai, and enjoy yourself. Right now, i got to get my little sweat out my eyes. Okay, talk to you later, Shai. Let's go bake a cake. Yeah. One other thing. Follow the directions on your cake box. You see that? Because where I'm going to probably begin this video is as I'm... I mean, everything's already mixed from my, my package and all that. But then I'm going to put go through the process of building this chocolate upside down cake. That's where you come in. And look, when it's all done and you see it, remember, Chef Borg did this first. Well, not, maybe not first, but I stepped out the box. Later, Chef. Spending too much time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Ah, yeah, oh yeah, baby. Hey, listen, I know I told you I wouldn't be back. You'd be listening to music while I made that awesome little cake. But let me tell you what, Boxic, Boxiki did it again. This company that makes that silicone, no stick, pan, cake pan, and any other kind of pan you might need to bake in, they're awesome. I tell you, let me show you. Now this here looks good, eh? That's my strawberry chocolate upside down cake. And I tell you what, I'm going to serve that tonight to my guests. And they just going to melt right there in their chair. I mean, it's just so, it's good, so, so good, chef. Anyway, the chef book, I'm going to talk to you later. Visit Boxiki over on Amazon.com. B-O-X-I-K-I. Look for one of those pans. They're the best. Talk to you later. Hike down. Don't forget to subscribe and you got your thumbs up. Aye.